we're making bee boxes today. <laughs> hey y'all, I am April and I am the Wolf Ranch Girl and welcome back to my channel. Let's go ahead and get into the video.
don't go in as easy as what you think they do. just finished our first bee box or beehive right yeah <laughs> okay so um last year or in the fall when did we decide to do this last year last year we decided that we were going to try and do um beehives so that we could have our own honey sell it have it for family and friends whatever so we took the plunge and our bees should be here sometime this month. It's March. So we um, should be getting two bee packages and we are doing one hive and our friends are doing the other hive. And so we just put together our first hive and we're going to take it apart and then put it back together and show you guys all the parts. We are not bee experts, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> so hopefully we don't lead anyone astray. <laughs> we have taken... Well, Mark has taken the class, and I've been doing a lot of research, so hopefully it'll all work out, and we'll be able to show you guys in the future um, some of our own just honey from right here on the farm, right? Mm -hmm. So we're getting Italian bees, and we're getting one package and two queens, and then we're going to split that package to make two hives. So this will be one of the hives. Do you want to take it apart? So now we're going to take it apart and show you the pieces. You want them to go like this or in fact you want them to go like this? Okay. okay, so you can explain the... <clears throat> so this is called the, a brooder box, right? Brooder box. This you can There's the that. bottom. There's the bottom. So the bottom's open on one end. So the bottom's open on one end and it's framed on three sides. And that's so that the bees can get in and out. Oh. So then you get a little get a little front porch from the land on and then it goes walk in the hole. And that can come off if you want it to. Like this is the mouse guard. So the one side has little teeth looking things that are like little individual doors and then you can flip it over and then that blocks the entryway. But that was being like if you want to lock them in there in the winter yeah. and not let them out, I guess. So we're going to leave it like this. And then just get the other piece. Oh. If you, I mean, this piece will go in there too. Either this way for a big entrance. <laughs> or flip it that way to have a smaller entrance. And then it can also control how much airflow gets yeah. they have to get in and out, right? So we're choosing to go with this, I think. Yeah, that gives us a little bit more control. Um, and it already reduces the entry so and since it's metal um, uh, mice mice try and get in there oh, sorry. mice try and get in there during the winter months and so using that metal um, piece they won't really be able to chew on it and um, they don't have access to the wood in the hives and it should keep them out we hope and so these are brewer boxes right yeah so brewer boxes the big boxes are brooder boxes, and 
that's pretty much the uh, bee's condo. So that's where they live. Um, we don't actually take, or if we get honey, we don't actually take any honey from here. This is where the bees and the queen actually live. And they'll take these, these are called frames. And I'll grab one. So it has like a lip that you can grab a hold of. And then it has this plastic um, kind of starter sheet in there. You can see it's honeycombed, uh, but it's covered with wax. And this just makes it so that the bees don't have to start the whole thing by themselves from nothing. Right? Right. right. It makes it quicker. So yeah. they will actually live in here, right? Yeah, they live. They'll, yeah, they'll lay eggs and everything in here. The queen will live in here, too. <laughs> And in the warmer states, from what we understand, you don't really have to have more than one brooder box, but we live in central Illinois, and our winters can be very, very cold. Um, just a few weeks ago, we had like negative 25 uh, degree temperatures, so, and it's longer. Um, we have much longer winter and colder winter, so we're choosing to do two brooder boxes to ensure that the bees are going to have enough honey for themselves um, to be able to feed themselves and keep themselves alive during the winter months. So yeah, this this box is exactly the same as the other one. Ten frames. Yeah, ten frames. I think they make a, a five frame, which would just be here, and then an eight frame also. So we did a lot of research, and these can be really expensive. Um, let me move this up again. These can be somewhat expensive, um, but I'll link the one that we ordered. And we ha it came in pieces. We had to put everything together, which is what you guys saw in the beginning of the video. Um, but I'll link below where we actually got the um, Hoover Hive um, kit from, and then you guys can... Get your own if you want. This is a clean excluder. So it just goes on there. Um, that would just keep the queen from getting up here and into this. This is then this is a super. So, and this, I mean, these frames are shorter, not as deep. Um, and these are the ones we'll be actually taking the honey from. So these are the super frames. So you can see how much shorter or how much um, not as deep the super box is. And you can actually add as many super boxes on top as you want. We just only have one. It came, one came with the kit. Um, so these are the frames and they have that same wax coated piece. Um, it's just yellow. And so once the two brooder boxes get filled up, the worker bees will go through the queen excluder and the queen won't be able to get in there and lay eggs and any of these things. So hopefully this will just be clean, um, full of clean wax and just honey. So they can't uh, lay any eggs or anything like that yeah, in these because the queen the can't fit through that excluder, right? Mm -hmm. And so we'll be able to harvest honey from these hopefully. You could harvest honey from the other one, it's just not as clean. Um, of course, we think. We haven't done all this. I'm sure yeah, there'll, be, there'll be future videos of us. Of him. Future videos yeah, struggling with this. <laughs> so, this is the... Um, the inner top? Yeah, the inner top. And this, I think, this is a little vented thing that think just to keep mice out. Just snaps in there. And the bees can still go through there. It like just sits on there. And then in the winter time we can put um, like honey or sugar cakes or just granulated sugar or whatever up on top of this and the bees will be able to come out and get something to eat and then go back in. We can just help support them um, they should have enough honey, but 
we can give them extra if needed. And you just got this top. And that's the outer top. Telescoping top is what they call them. <laughs> Telescoping top. Okay. And then that's the whole hive. That's it. So hopefully um, here in a few weeks, we will have some hopefully friendly little Italian friends <laughs> uh, going in and out of the box. Okay, so I, I hope that you guys enjoyed um, that video of all of us working as a family to put together our beehives. So what I am doing, and I'm going to be looking down at my computer um, just a little bit, is I am going to go into my wish list on Amazon so that I can tell you guys exactly what it is that um, we ordered. So anyway, <laughs> you saw a picture of the um, hives. So we ordered from Amazon the Langstroth Hoover Hive. Um, so we got the 10 frame and it was $199, but there was a $10 off coupon um, when we ordered it, so we got it for $189, um, and that is a steal from what I understand from area beekeepers. So that was a really, really great um, investment or great find on our part, and I will link that um, in the... I don't know why I'm saying um so much, like I feel like I'm out of breath, but I will link all of the information for everything that we got for our beehives um, in the description box below. So everything that we ordered was from Amazon except for our bees and we have not, we still have not received those. Um, and I am going to try to, um, provide you guys with a video of us transferring the bees from their, um, travel packaging, um, which is just called a bee package into our actual hives and keep you posted on it um, as the time goes on. We are novice beekeepers. We are not professional beekeepers. We have been doing a lot of research and we have, but <laughs> again, research and um, practice are two different things. So knowing what you're supposed to do and then actually accomplishing it when you have 10,000 bees uh, buzzing around you is a completely different thing. So this could be an absolute disaster, but we are gonna try it and I will try and keep you posted on how all of that goes. <laughs> so once again, um, I just thank you guys for hopping onto my channel. Um, I hope if nothing else, I can provide you with um, some laughs and some things that you may never want to try. <laughs> um, but again, if you um, like the video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. That lets YouTube know that you guys like the content and um, it helps the channel out, uh, get deeper exposure, so on and so forth. And if you'd like to continue <laughs> looking out at our uh, crazy adventures here on the Wolf Ranch, then go ahead and subscribe. And if you don't want to miss out, uh, you want to get notified anytime that I post a new video, which I try to do on Thursday of each week, then go ahead and um, press that notification bell wherever it may be. So once again, uh, thank you guys and I'll see you later.